G'day Internet, welcome to Stick Ninjas, devlog episode 35, the final devlog episode for the year. My name is Andrew Russell, and today I'm going to be showing you some of the changes I've been making on the player object for Stick Ninjas. So up until now, the Stick Ninjas player object has always had a presence in the physics engine, which is represented by this red rectangle. So while it uses custom movement code to sort of run along the ground with his feet, uh, the physics engine is still responsible for colliding him with walls and the ceiling and so on. So basically I've removed this, and I intend to replace it with custom movement code uh, for moving left and right and up, just like the uh, custom movement code for the feet. So the main reason for doing this is basically to make the networking better, uh, but it's also going to enable me to do a bunch of the sort of fancy acrobatic platformer stuff that I want to do later on. One effect that this has already had is that it lets me basically treat uh, the platforms in the game as one-way platforms. Uh, which is nice because I was expecting I would have to um, do a lot more work to get this working within the physics engine, so it's nice that this has sort of just fallen into place. Um, it's also letting me remove that awful uh, snap down behavior you might have seen in some of the videos, uh, and this was basically in there as a hack for network reasons. So what you're seeing here is the graphing tool uh, where if I move the jump one frame later, it gets snapped in onto the ground and loses all of its upward momentum. And it doesn't feel too bad, but it definitely feels better when uh, you maintain that momentum. And that's a lot easier to keep working uh, without the physics engine presence getting in the way. So that's everything for this episode. The Stick Ninjas devlog will be returning at some time in the new year. Uh, so until then, uh, subscribe to my blog at andrewrussell.net or follow me on Twitter at underscore andrewrussell. And I'll let you know when the devlog comes back. Otherwise, go to stickninjas.com and you can sign up to get a notification when Stick Ninjas is available for playable pre-order. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next year.